of hanging on for me here. Um, what did you take from the Ohio State film, first of all? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I, I thought we had a decent first half. Um, definitely went in the game thinking we could win and all these yeah. things, which is what you should do. Uh, we had a true belief that we could win that game. And we just didn't play the way we should in the second half, um, whether it be turnovers and all these little things that matter, right? We just didn't play at a very high level that second half. We just didn't have the ball a lot in the second half. Obviously, turnovers are a big part yeah. of that. But overall, it did seem like you guys moved the ball. I mean, it wasn't like a 100-yard game you've had in the past. Mm -hmm. 46 plays, maybe? 48? Yeah. 226? 49, yep, 49 plays. Yeah, so, I don't know. Like, it's not horrible. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff to build on, right? Yeah. I, I just, like I said, like, the biggest thing is just turnovers. Like, you can't have those because those are killers, especially um, – when you're on your own 20 or whatever it was, it's just hard, and the defense has to go out there. We just have to be better about those things and taking care of the ball. You know, that's one of our big goals on the offense, just take care of the ball because the defense doesn't get the ball. It makes it so much easier on everybody else, so we just got to be better about that. So when you – by the way, what happened on the bad snap? Was that – was that a – what happened? Because I couldn't see it on TV or – Yeah, jeez, uh, I, I don't know exactly what happened. Okay. Uh, it was probably on me. I don't know. It probably snapped it a little short or whatever it might have been. Um, it's hard to see on tape what exactly it was, but yeah, it's, it's hard to determine. I was just kind of clarifying. Um, so this week is a big challenge. Obviously, yeah. they're better than maybe people expected. They were yeah. in the national title game last year. What are you seeing on the film? Yeah, okay. they, they they play so hard. Probably the hardest playing team. Really? That I, yeah, that I've seen on tape so far. Just they play with so much energy and like high effort. Um, and they want to win, and I think that's the biggest thing is just like, having guys like that, uh, which makes them a solid team. And then they're pretty big up front. They got some big boys up there, uh, which will make it challenging for us. But it, it'll be super fun. And then they, they throw some different fronts at you, too. So they'll go four down, three down, six guys, a whole bunch of stuff. So it'll definitely be interesting. Uh, I know, I love talking to you about Tim Lester and hearing about the energy he has this week. What has his response been, you know, to, to this past week, I mean, in practice, and how have you guys responded? He just knows that we need to get back to work. Uh, there's so many things that we need to get better at, and he understands that. And we're going to continue to do that, right? And it starts with coming in yesterday, right? So yesterday's supposed to be like a timid or more slow down practice. But we don't we don't treat it like that, no. We're like, we're going full speed like we got to get going because, mm -hmm. you know, this is Big Ten football. Like, you're playing some big boy, like, tough football. So you got to get after guys. And I just think he, he does a great job of making things hectic in practice so that <laughs> come game time, like, it's a lot easier, which it is. I mean, they're throwing, whether it be noise or screaming at you, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Saturdays are so much easier to play in because, like, we, <laughs> we, we've seen everything, yeah. you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at practice. So. Yeah. How would you describe the growth you have seen from the offense from August to now because yeah. um, I mean a lot of people you know you know how it goes people melt down on the outside like if yeah. you lose a game uh, how what have you seen from the inside like what the progress you're making yeah uh, there, I mean there's just so many aspects of the game that have gotten better so like quarterbacks and wide receivers it could be like timing on routes mm -hmm. and things like that or the run game right knowing where it's going to hit and like what your aiming point needs to be and if this happens what needs to happen like, just these little details that people might not see but mm -hmm. you know we see and you know they definitely help us and then just being able to continue to grow and understand what coach lester wants from this offense and things and people are still learning you know what he wants from this offense because it's all new it is but mm -hmm. you know if we can just continue to like just believe in his offense and what we have to do i think yeah. we'll be successful because we've already seen so much success from the offense this year so we just got to yeah. continue to build up that how how complicated would you say the offense is to learn for anybody i mean i was talking about jacob gill yeah. he's new reese vanderzee new they're yeah. your starting receivers yeah so there's Honestly, it's, it's probably so much harder for those guys because I feel like they have like 200 routes and a whole bunch of concepts. For us, there's only so many ways you can do yeah. inside and outside zone and pass block. Yeah. So it's simpler for us, but for those guys, geez, I'd hate to be them. Yeah. So. What are you most proud of the way the offensive line has played this year, just as a whole? I just think being together, I think yeah. that's one of the coolest things about it. Um, just how close we are as a unit. Um, these, I mean, these guys are my best friends. Um, and like I told somebody earlier, like five of them are my groomsmen in the wedding. So <laughs> it's, it's just awesome being able to play with those guys. I love going out there. Like you, you know exactly what you're going to get from every single person on the on the line and you know how they're going to play. So you just play off of that. And you know, if I see something like Connor Colby or both finish somebody, that like gives me energy. Now I'm going to go do it right. It's just everybody's playing together and in unison and we understand what we have to do now. So your wedding is coming up. Is that right? Next year, July. And you've already, so five of those guys are groomsmen? Five of them are Which, who are Who are the lucky guys? So it's Mason Richmond, Connor Colby, Jeremy Chaplin, uh, Ellsbury, and Nick DeYoung. Okay. Yep. 
So it's ne it's not this summer. It's next summer. Next summer, yeah. Yep. Or 2025. Or 20, yeah, 2025. Okay, so July 2025. Yep. I know you don't want to. Yeah. Yep. You're worrying about Washington, I realize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, what's the key to getting like big plays in the passing game? I know it all works together. You got to give K time, right? Yeah. Uh, I think you got to establish a run game first. And, yeah. You know, if you get the run game going pretty early, it definitely opens up some things for the quarterbacks and receivers. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just being on time, I think I don't really know a whole lot about the quarterback wide receiver so, position, but they always talk about being on time, being on time. So I assume they just have to get better at being on time, I guess. I don't know exactly what goes on in the rooms, but yeah, that's what I hear.